The date was special because it's Oren's birthday, but it's also she gets to share with her pop-up whose birthday is on Wednesday, just two days. So we wanted to do this together as a, a big old gang and family and to read to the kids of Trinidad and Tobago in this time. All right, so we're going to get started. Today we're reading from Chi Chi's Adventures, book five, Chi Chi Finds Home. You paying attention? And this is written by Carol Otley Mitchell and illustrated by Anne Catherine Liu. Good one, Dan. <laughs> Hi, so I'm Keith. I'm Kevin's dad and the grandfather to this wonderful girl who's celebrating her birthday today. Very special, as you notice. Very active, but love them nevertheless. Happy birthday, Oren. Love Who's you. And you. Have a wonderful time. Love you, dear. Good. Bye. So Chi Chi, the vervet monkey, lives on the beautiful island of St. Kitts. He and two of his brothers discovered a garden full of the fruit the monkeys loved. They felt the garden belonged to them and were always trying to get the fruit before the people who lived in the house could pick it. At first, they tried to wake up and pick the fruit before the humans did. This didn't work too well. Monkeys like to start their day at about 11 a.m., just in time for lunch. And so waking up early was very difficult. Then they tried to convince the family of humans that the bamboo tree was a popo tree. The humans who lived in the house did not like the popos, and the monkeys hoped that they could keep them away from the mango tree as well. They were discovered and ran away without popos and without mango. The monkeys had been back, hadn't been back to the house since because they were embarrassed and upset. Every day, all day, she thought about the garden and the delicious fruits that grew there. His brothers tried to distract him. You are always thinking about that garden, Chi Chi. We have so many other fruits, flowers, and nuts to eat, said his older brother, Mo. Yes, but those trees are ours. And nothing I have eaten tastes as good as the fruit in our garden, Chi Chi responded. One day, Chi Chi couldn't wait any longer. I'm going back in, he announced. Mom, we have my teeth. You know Chi Chi? What's the use, said Mo? Chi Chi. <laughs> There'll be no fruit, and there no weeds over there. <laughs> They'll probably get a dog now to keep us away. Vervet monkeys and St. Kitts are not afraid of many things, but they are afraid of dogs. Chi Chi shrugged his shoulders. Well, if they have, I'll give up, but I have to go back one last time. Are you guys coming? What if there's a dog, whimpered John John? Then we run, Chi Chi replied. Mo and John John decided to follow Chi Chi. Life was always exciting when Chi Chi was around. They made their way past the dogs who lived in the houses next to their special garden. And over the wall they went, quietly, cautiously. The monkeys sniffed out the air for a dog and listened carefully for a growl or bark, but they heard nothing. Chi Chi sighed. Realizing he's been holding his breath. No dogs. Let's check the pawpaw tree. Then. The monkeys made their way to the pawpaw tree. As they passed under the bamboo tree, John John looked up and saw something remembering how he had been hidden there before with his arms filled with pawpaw. As he looked, he spotted something yellow. All right, special reader. Chi Chi, he cried, stop, there are ripe mangoes in the tree. Chi Chi, Mama, and John John, John, John could not believe their eyes. They checked each tree, mangoes, plums, sour, sour sups, sour sups <laughs> and each tree had a few ripe fruit hanging from the branches. The monkeys picked yeah. them all, ate some, took some away. away to share with the rest of their family. As they left, Chi Chi looked towards the house. He could not understand why the fruit had been left on the tree. He wondered if the family had gone on vacation, or even better, if they no longer lived in the house. 
As he thought of this, he noticed someone at the windows. It was the boy they had seen the last time they were there. Mark, his mother had called him. The boy raised his hand and waved at the monkey. He left fruit for us, Chi Chi said in amazement. I can't believe it, he left some fruit for us. The monkeys ran from the garden and headed home, excited about their good fortune. Every day that the monkeys visited the garden, there was fruit on the trees. Whenever they came, Mark was around. At first, he watched them through the window. After a day or two, he came outside and looked at the monkeys from the steps that led from his back door into the garden. Then one day when the monkeys had picked their fruit and were about to leave the garden, Mark, who had been sitting on the step, stood up and walked towards the monkeys. Mo and John John panicked and ran away. Mark ran towards them, calling, Don't run. I wouldn't hurt you. Next reader. Come on in, Dan. As he ran, Mark dropped one of the ripe sour sups that he had been carrying. Mark stepped in the slippery fruit, fell, to, fell the to the ground. The monkeys ran to where Mark lay. His eyes were closed and he was not moving. Don't touch him, Chi Chi said to his brothers. Wait here, I'll get help. Chi Chi scampered up the back steps to the door of the house. Mark had left the door open. Chi Chi stopped at the door, unsure about entering. He called out, hello. hello! To humans, his call sounded like a sharp cry, similar to a crow's caw. He waited, but there was no response. He stepped a few paces inside the house and called again, caw! Mark's mother came into the hallway that led to the door from outside. She spotted Chi Chi. These monkeys are too much now, she said. What are you doing inside? Shoo, shoo. Chi Chi ran out of the door and she followed muttering. Mark keeps leaving this door open. When she got to the door, she leaned outside and called Mark. Of course, there was no answer. Mark was still lying in the garden. Mark, she called. It's time to get ready for school. Come on. There was still no answer. Chi Chi ran close to Mark's mother, chatted at her, and then ran towards where the boy lay. He hoped that Mark's mother would follow him, but she did not. He ran up to her again and then ran back to Mark. This time she followed. When she spotted her son lying on the ground, she broke into a run. Mark and John John had been standing guard over him. When they saw his mother running towards them, they scampered away. They sat on the wall that surrounded the house, watching. Chi Chi stood next to Mark's mother. Mark, oh my goodness, what's wrong, she exclaimed. Mark's mother picked him up gently. As she did so, he opened his eyes and he looked at her. Mark recovered from his fall. When he was better, his mother told him how Chi Chi had called her and he never forgot how the monkey had helped him. Mark and Chi Chi became great friends and they spent more and more time with each other. And when the time came for Chi Chi to leave his mother and start his own family, Chi Chi chose to become part of Mark's family. He knew that he had found his home. The end. The end. All right, so thank you very much for joining with us, Ash. As you know, we always close this as a reminder of how long to safely wash your hands to ensure That's that right. we all keep ourselves safe. And in a special way today, because the song is usually to sing happy birthday twice, it's going to be for dual purposes. We're going to sing happy birthday once for Oren and once for her papa. Wonderful. And more importantly for children, remember, wash your hands regularly, sing happy birthday twice, and do not touch your face, your nose, or your eyes as much as you can. Happy birthday, Orin. Love you. All right. Three, two, one. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Orin. 
Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. One more time. Happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. To you. Happy birthday, Lauren. Happy birthday, oh, pop up to everybody. Blue. 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 It's a trick candle. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh -huh. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us. Bye, bye, Sweet dreams bye. to all and see you soon. Happy birthday. Happy Peace birthday. Happy 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 birthday.